And Pedro is working on an adobe. Can you say that with me? Adobe. Adobe. <laughs> Today, here I am in Cedartown, Georgia, uh, Northeast Cemetery. Now, right off this little highway here, that's the stone pole there that I was looking for. I'm going to do this video a little differently than I normally do cemetery videos because I'm going to show you behind me. This is the cemetery. It's kind of big. I've passed about five really small ones, so I thought this was going to be small too, and it's not. It's big. The Jan Hooks. I'm a huge, huge fan of Saturday Night Live. Arguably, it's probably my favorite show of all time. Um, I'm going to talk more about it, the cast and all that. And late 80s, early 90s, Jan Hooks was a member of the cast. And she was one of, if not one of the best SNL cast members of all time. So versatile. When you watch her in those sketches, she's acting. She's, she's an actress. A lot, of the, a lot of people on Saturday Night Live, they, they come from an improv background. She came from improv, she started in Groundlings, of course, but sketch comedy. But she, and, and sorry, the other like stand-up comedians, they joined the cast. She's an actress. This is what I was thinking about. I was thinking all these things when I was watching clips of her. I was like, my gosh, she's, she's acting while she's in these three or four minute sketches. And she's knocking it out of the park every time. Extremely versatile. Her and Phil Hartman made a great team. Rest in peace, Phil Hartman as well. Jan Hooks means a lot to me. Probably means a lot to you if you watch Saturday Night Live. You, uh, especially back in those days, you know Jan Hooks. Now, she's from Decatur, Georgia. She died of throat cancer at her home in Woodstock, New York. From what I know, she after 9-11, she kind of left the spotlight and moved up to Woodstock, New York, to a home there. Didn't do much. And turned down so many, so many parts. Now, she had debilitating stage fright before every sketch in SNL. And everything she did, she had stage fright. And then as soon as the camera was on, boom, she came to life. But she didn't want to do, she didn't like fame. She didn't, she just left the spotlight. She was on 30 Rock as um, Jenna's mom. She played Verna. And Tina Fey had to convince her like three times to take the part. She's like, no, no, but Tina Fey was adamant that no one could play this part. And if you're a 30 Rock fan, you know you know the character of Verna. And no, nobody could have done it like Jan Hooks. Perfect casting. So I'm going to... There's no pin to exactly where her grave is. Now, I've been wanting to come visit Jan's grave for a long time. And you see the forest back there starting kind of right behind me. Her gravestone used to be flat. So when I looked it up, I was like, okay, it's a flat grave near the back. It's all I kind of knew. Find a grave is excellent for telling you where the cemetery, where celebrity is, like what um, cemetery they're in. Not always do they have a pin for the exact spot, so you gotta do some hunting. Now, I know recently she was given a new headstone, so I'm gonna, and it stands out because it's a black one, and there's a lot of marble and white ones around here. So, we're gonna try to find it together, talk more about Jan Hooks. You write in the comments your memories of Jan Hooks, designing women, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, Adobe. Adobe. Um, I said designing women. I said SNL. She's being adventure. 30 Rock. There's something I'm forgetting. There's something I forget. Coneheads. Alright, the movie Coneheads. Alright, let's try and find Jen Hook so we can pay our respects to her. One of the best cast members of SNL of all time. I always like to show the entrance to the cemeteries. I know I'm a gimbal with me today, so my camera's not exactly helping me. But. I guess this would be the main entrance, but once again, there's no real sign. Oh, there it is, right over there. You can see, you can 
can see on it, the light is not great. North view. Alright, so this is the entrance to the cemetery right off the highway here. But I gotta go up that hill and somehow I even spotted a black headstone way up there. Way off in the distance. You probably can't see it with your eye from the camera, but I have a feeling it's up against this back. Because when I looked up her grave, like I said, a few years ago, it just looked so... It looked very desolate and very lonely. It was just a flat little mark on the ground with the trees in the background. So I could see those trees. But, uh, and fun fact, uh, I am allergic to flesh, <laughs> flesh, oh well, fresh flowers. And um, there's a lot here and I'm getting stuffed up just from being around them. But uh, I believe, for somebody who spends a lot of time in cemeteries, it's not a good allergy to have, but, and I'm, this is not a video about me, but I'm also allergic to coniferous trees, pines, needles. Uh, and I think there's some back there. All right, we're going to go all the way up there. So if you've seen any of my cemetery videos that I do, I put on music here. I like to show the drive in and around and give you a, a feeling of what it's like to be here in the cemetery. But I'm just going to talk to you through this because I want to... Um, I want you to find this, the grave as soon as I do. I want it to be a little different. And so I'm assuming it's somewhere back here along this row. Just because that one picture I saw from a couple years ago, which I, I don't believe is, in, is in, online anymore, I could see those trees. And right now it's not looking not looking good. I don't see Jan Hooks, but I believe it's a black headstone. And there's one over there. I'm gonna walk into the middle here. Alright, so I've parked and really just on a hunch, just from those trees, I'm gonna walk across this and Walk at the base of the graves across, and I see a few black headstones, but I don't. Hers looked pretty tall in the picture I saw. Hmm. Oh, there's more back there. There are more back there. Okay. Okay. Um. Walking up here, I don't see any. I, it's got to stand out. It has to stand out. Because it's, I think it's even taller than most that are out here. Okay, this is not the right section. We're going to take a look over in that section over there. Okay, so I was way, way off. This is back. Now, see, there's that high school there that when I scan across, you can see the high school. That's the road right there. So I drove all the way in and around back by these forests here. Then I realized over here, there's forests here too. Looking for the headstone with the forest background. But I guess the way the other photo was taken, it just um, didn't, uh, just was taken in a way that showed that in the background. I'm, I'm guessing that the grave is over here. There is a pin on find a grave right to, should be right to her grave, and it should be walking right towards it. So that's surprising. I did not, uh, I thought, for some reason, you know, I, sometimes I just kind of start driving to the place and I get caught up in my head thinking about the person, and then I think I'm just gonna find the grave, and it's never as easy as you think, but with the pin, it shouldn't be too hard. Now, somewhere around here, I believe, be down a little bit we're gonna find there she is right down there let's walk as I've stated many times uh, with smaller cemeteries and well any size cemetery try to walk between the graves if you have to walk across a grave listen they mow lawns here cemetery workers walk across to do work on other graves family members when uh, they're having uh, funerals have to walk across other graves large groups of people so it's not 
you know, it's not the, um, what do you think? Like, it's, 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 you try to be respectful, you try to walk around, but sometimes you have to. Right now I've got the time and I've got the, uh, ground to work with here. And here we are. Right beside her mother. Janet Vivian Hooks. Jan gave us all the gift of laughter. April 23rd, 1957, October 9th, 2014. And there's a photo of Jan with the Saturday Night Live logo in the background. With that smile. Oh, that smile. She always had the bangs, little bob cut, and that smile. True Southern gal. You can see lots of people have been coming out here. These flowers aren't too old. Here's Jan Hooks. Right here. Now, so it used to be a flat headstone. So the angle could have been taken like this. That photo I saw. Like that. And I just saw that with the trees in the background. I don't know. I had it, I had it in my head that... She's buried really far in the back of the cemetery. So if you don't know Jan Hooks, I highly recommend you can check her out on YouTube. After you watch this, there's plenty of clips of her on Designing Women, SNL, the Adobe scene. She's a tour guide. Um, 30 Rock from the Sun she was on. She was on 30 Rock from the Sun. No, three. Wait, is that what it's called? 30 Rocks from the Sun? <laughs> Third Rock from the Sun. <laughs> 30 Rock from the Sun. And 30 Rock. And she was French Stewart's girlfriend, I believe, on Third Rock from the Sun. But I know from SNL. Now, I've said this before. I don't know if I ever said it on video. But a lot of us who love SNL, we, we, we have a cast that means the most to us. It's usually the one, and they talk about the SNL book, Live from New York. They talk about it that it's usually... Who, I'm going to have a little seat right here while I just talk about Jan Hooks and SNL. Usually, they, it's, it's the cast that you grew up with around the age of 13, 14, 15. That's your cast. That's not the case with me. I love Jan Hooks. I love Phil Hartman, Dana Carvey, Mike Myers, David Spade. I mean, great cast. When I was a young teen, those would be my cast, I guess. Mike Myers, David Spade, Chris Rock, Chris Farley, Adam Sandler, the whole, you know, you know them. And then I loved Will Ferrell's cast, you know, who was on the show, Anna Gasteyer, everyone, everyone that was around the uh, Will, uh, Will Ferrell time. And then Kristen Wiig, Bill Hader, Jason Sudeikis, Fred Armisen, who I love so much. I consider that almost my favorite cast, even though I was an adult when they were on. But it's just because I'm a huge fan of the show. But I really do think if you're a child of the 80s, teen of the 90s, the cast with Phil Hartman, John Lovitz, Dennis Miller, Dana Carvey, Jan Hooks, one of three women on the show at the time. Uh, it's her, Nora Dunn, Victoria Jackson. I mean, she was called on to play almost every female character. It's not like today where there's, uh, you know, wonderfully 10 female uh, cast members, which is great. Back in the day, it was usually only two or three, which is weird to think about now. So she played so many different characters. My favorite, now my friends and I, when we were in our teens, my guy friends, we used to do this thing on Christmas Eve called the Sweater Party. It was held at my house, and where we'd wear gaudy Christmas sweaters, exchange weird presents, and watch clips of funny stuff. This is before we were going out and doing other things, you know, partying a lot actually no, it was around the same time too but we did no yeah it was anyway but no girls were allowed girlfriends weren't allowed it was just the guys it was a, I don't know we were teenagers but we always watched the same clip of Jan Hooks and Nora Dunn doing the Sweeney sisters at, uh, at Christmas time the Christmas medley and it is hilarious and they we watched a few Sweeney sisters clips there's another one, another sketch she did with a Betty. She was playing Betty Davis. And it was Betty Davis's video, Will, which is so funny to watch. It was her family members watching Betty Davis giving her, saying her will. 
and Jan was playing Betty Davis on a TV screen, but she was live in the in the in the uh, studio, of course. But every time they fast forward, rewind, she would do the sound bites for it. <laughs> At one point, it froze and there was nobody on the screen, and the and her family's watching like, where'd she go? Like, I guess that's over. And then she gets up and I fell out of my chair in her Betty Davis voice. It's, I'm not doing it justice. It's really funny. crazy to think that she she did turn down a lot of big parts because of her stage fright and fame she was not a big fan of fame and from what I remember she left her contract was up then she went on to designing women for one or two seasons then she came back to SNL for one or two seasons but you don't see that happen very often but it shows the love and respect Lauren Michaels the creator and producer of Sign of Life has for someone like Jan Hooks I would say she's the equivalent of uh, of a Phil Hartman or a Bill Hader. You know, someone who you could put... Will Ferrell. Someone who you could put in every sketch who can ground it, who could play every type of part and just make it funny just by their expressions and just by them. They could play the straight character to make the others funny. But even while they're playing the straight character, they're just as funny. Will Ferrell takes it to a different level. He's not always a straight character. As soon as he comes on screen, he starts laughing. But Jan and Phil were the um, the rocks of that cast, like 86, 87, and 92, around that era. We had a long time to come out here. She died of throat cancer. And uh, she smoked and drank wine. And then there's a quote I read, I'm not sure where I read, where she said, the things that I that help me cope mentally are the things that are killing me physically. For what I know, she didn't stop right up until her untimely death. I mean, 57 years old? Yeah. Wow. It's not old. So if you're looking for Jan, Graves, just come right in the right in the entrance off the road. Look, there it is. That's what I showed you. Straight ahead, you can park your car right there, walk up the hill, and you'll find Jan Hooks, the black granite one, right here. Beside her mom. Lead better in the background. Lead better over there. Cool last name. There's Jan Hooks. So yeah, this is a bit of a different way I'm doing it than usual, but um, I just wanted to talk about Jan Hooks. Talk about her life. Try to find the grave together, and we did. I never, ever uh, not laugh when I see any clips of Jan Hooks. So funny and so talented. It's hard to believe sometime when you think about a celebrity who is huge. I mean, she was a, a member of SNL, which is for the 80s, 90s, or any time. That's huge. It's huge. And we're in this tiny town, Cedar Town, which I think really what you see is what you get. It's tiny. There might be more to it. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not dogging Cedar Town. It's beautiful out here. But, you know, as they say, we all go back to where we belong. And this was her area. Southern Bell Jan Hooks. All right. Rest in peace, Jan Hooks, and your mom. Much love. To all of you, peace out. Yes, there are thousands and thousands of uses for corn, all of which I will tell you about right now. <laughs>